Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link below to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Today, I'm sharing with you a lesson from Atticus Finch. Are you ready? Let's get started. Atticus Finch, Atticus Finch. You might, you might immediately know who I mean, and you might be thinking, I should know that name, shouldn't I, Kevin? Well, Atticus Finch is the protagonist in the fabulous novel, To Kill a Mockingbird. If you haven't read it, you've probably seen the movie. If you haven't done either, you ought to. Go watch it or go read it. But there's a line in the book, and I believe in the movie as well, where Atticus Finch says, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. So in our world today, we might not use the word his, but let me just say it again. You never really understand a person until you consider things from their point of view. How often do you do that? I mean, how often do you step back from your own perspective and look at it from someone else's perspective? I mean, I know you've done this. Like you've looked at someone's behavior or looked at their choices and scratched your head and said, why are they doing that? You're, you're looking at the world through your lens, looking at their behavior and saying, that doesn't make any sense. Have you ever had that same situation where once you understood their perspective or understood their situation or understood their point of view where you said, oh yeah, now that makes a little more, more sense. May still not have been the choice I'd have made, but now I understand their choice a whole lot better than I did before. Hmm. This is a very powerful lesson for us to consider. I want to give you something to try uh, in two different situations. One is if you're at a distance from them where you really can't talk to them right now. And the other is when you might be right near them or could ask them. So let's talk about each of those a little bit, right? So if you're at a distance from someone and you see the behavior, if you're wondering about it, it's someone that you coach and maybe it's someone that you, know, you don't see all the time, don't have a chance to interact with right now. If you're at a distance, I want you to do this. I want you to Think of plausible reasons they would choose to do what they did. Think of plausible reasons. Like, I just want you to get hypothetical for a second. So, okay, why might they have done that? Why might they have said that? What are the possible reasons why they did it? Because you have an immediate response. You're, you're inferring why they did it, which might be correct, but it's very possible it's not because it's coming from your perspective. So think of plausible reasons why. You're not trying to be right. You're trying to make a list, right? And you'll come up with two, three, four, seven different, well, it could be for this reason. It could be for this reason. Maybe they were thinking of this. Maybe they didn't mean that at all. Like you're just, you're, you're making a list. And you're not trying to say, okay, I think it's this one. You're just trying to make a list. And then looking at the whole list, not knowing which one's right, it will change your perspective then you can respond based on your broadened perspective. You still don't have to know their point of view. You may never know their point of view, but it's possible that their point of view is different, which would help you better understand what they did, said, or chose. Now, what if you can ask them? What if they're nearby? What if you have a good relationship with them? What if you really need to know? Well, then, of course, you can ask them for their point of view. Duh. You can ask them what they see. You're not asking them to justify. You're not asking them to, to con so that you can convince them. You just want to understand. So I I'd love to know what led you to come to that conclusion. Help me understand what got you to that place. What led you to make that choice? You're not trying to change their mind. You're, just you're not even trying to agree with them. You're just trying to understand that perspective. I'll almost guarantee you that once you see it from their point of view, as Atticus taught us, that we'll better understand their motives, we'll better understand what they did, and if we do need to coach them, if we do want to give them feedback, we're in a much better position to do it. They'll be more open to it, and the feedback we will give will be far more valuable. So. Once we figure it out, once we understand their perspective more, then we can respond based on their perspective, not ours, based on their perspective. You see, all of this is not about having to agree with them or convince them that our point of view is the right one. 
but rather when we do this, when we consider things from their point of view, we will better understand them. We'll have better relationships with them. We might even be able to be in a better position then to influence them. Let me close with today's tweet. Remember and apply the lesson of Atticus Finch. You never really understand a person until you consider their point of view. Well, you know, every week we do one of these. I come into the studio and we record a remarkable TV episode. And if you want to join us every week, you can subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe right here, or you can subscribe and get an email to remind you. Either way, we'd love to have you come back. Of course, if you're listening to this on the podcast, you know that this is there every week. You don't have to do that unless you want to watch me and not just listen. Either way, whether it's from Remarkable TV or whether it's from the Remarkable Leadership Podcast, I'll be here next week. I hope you will be too.